Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MCS Sports Talk Radio. We have a big piece of news in development right now. Chris Taps Porzingis could be on the move to the Boston Celtics in a three-team deal also involving the Washington Wizards and the Los Angeles Clippers. Matt, what are your thoughts about this? What a trade. Maybe that might be a sign of Jalen Brown getting traded soon. I don't know. But Jason Tatum, Christoph Porzingis are going to be the forwards. Robert Williams has to have a better year this upcoming season if the Celtics want to even try and make um, the NBA Finals again like they did in 2022. But I like this move. Porzingis really doing nothing in Washington, doesn't benefit his career. He used to be one of the one of the best forwards in the NBA on the Knicks when he was in his prime there and got traded, made nothing really of it on the Wizards and Mavericks, and now he's in Boston. I think this is going to be a really good move for the Celtics and Porzingis. Yeah, so we're also going to have Malcolm Brogdon headed to the Clippers in this trade. Marcus Morris is headed to the Wizards and some type of draft compensation that has not came out yet. Colby, this is a huge trade in, in development. Right now we saw Chris Paul for Bradley Beal, a trade that went down on Sunday. And now here on Wednesday, one day before the NBA draft, we have Chris Stapps Porzingis just about to be official, looks like, headed to Boston. I think the Wizards are in full rebuild mode right now. I'm not sure they have – I think they're – cleaning house they're developing from the ground up this is not the same team that we saw last decade they have been at the bottom of the nba for a while now and i think that this move benefits them in the long in the long run so we have a live audience right here right now uh we're gonna get their thoughts on this trade and maybe some other stuff in the nba let's go over here first Uh, Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm going to take some quick quick thoughts here. I think they're trying to develop a big three, it seems, here, with Brown, Tatum, and Porzingis. I, th- I think that's a pretty good big three. What, what about you, Matt? Yeah, I agree. It's going to be a scary team to go against in the East. I think they'll still get maybe the two or three seed. Last season they got the two seed, and I like the move. I think getting Marcus Smart out was Marcus Morris out of there wasn't the worst thing to get a player like Porzingis, but there is still draft compensation, so we do not know that yet, but we will find out very soon as we will take another caller. Yeah, all right, let's go right here. Yeah, hey, guys, big fan of the show. I I want to talk about Washington's angle this trade and a little bit of Boston. So with Washington, like you said, full rebuild mode, and I think that's what I've been advocating for them to do for for a little bit now, especially after the Beal trade a lot of people have. Uh, on Sunday. It, it's time for them to tank. They've messed up too many draft picks. That They just need to tank. Get up next year. Make sure you have the choice of anyone. Uh, so I think this is signaling what they should have been doing for a couple of years now. It, it, they should have torn it down a while ago. Glad to see them finally doing it now. For Boston, I think it's interesting to bring in that big guy in Porzingis. You know, last year there were the, the debates during the playoffs. Do so they start Robert Williams? Do so they start Al Horford? Who's going to be the big defensive stopper? Obviously, they didn't get to Jokic, but who was going to be the big defensive stopper of a guy like Embiid? Turned out being Williams. Now I think you have a more certain answer in Chris Stapps Porzingis. Yeah, seven foot four. That's pretty large, almost as tall as Victor Wembanyama, who is about to enter the NBA tomorrow night. Colby, what are your thoughts about this? I think the Celtics have an, have it in an interesting situation because now the draft compensation has not been revealed. I think we could potentially see a draft night trade of a guy like Marcus Smart potentially trade back up into the first round to maybe acquire some depth to replace that six man you lost in Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon obviously phenomenal for them last year and I think that is going to be a key piece not having the same depth they had last year. Yeah Celtics currently own pick 35. We're going to wrap it up here but first Matt we got to look at the Clippers side of the trade here. Getting Malcolm Brogdon very good piece for them. Yeah, so what I'm thinking of this, that means that the Wizards are going to trade Chris Paul to a different team than the Clippers. I think the Spurs are Rockets, which are very good teams for Paul to fit in as a veteran. But now for the Clippers, they got Brogdon. I think he's a better piece than Chris Paul, who I believe they would have traded for. So I'm liking what they're doing there. And then as we said, the Wizards really just full-on rebuild mode. But I like what the Wizards are doing, finally doing this, which they need to do for a few years now. 
That'll, that'll wrap it up here on M MCS Sports Talk Radio. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.